Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Sandy Cruz and I am the creator of the Eye Planner, Eye Design, Eye Journals, Key Life, and a whole lot more. What you're looking at on my screen is a new product that's in the store and they are the Getting Things Done Templates. These can be used for the GTD method and for those of you that aren't familiar with GTD, if you scroll down in the description of the on this product page, I've got some links in the description so that you can learn more about David Allen and his book and his method for getting things done. But before we take a closer look at these templates, I want to show you how to get them to your iPad. So for this, I'm going to go to my account and I've already purchased the product so then I'm going to go to my downloads and I know it'll be all the way at the bottom because it's the most recent thing I purchased and I'm going to tap the download link and I'll wait for the box that says download and I can see it's populating into my downloads folder and it's done so I'm going to go ahead and tap this down arrow and I can see it there so now I'll tap on the zipped file and there it is in my downloads folder now since this file is zipped in order to use it I have to unzip it so it's real simple to unzip it you just tap it and it automatically unzips and everything that came with this purchase is in this folder. So I can see all the templates that come in this purchase. So what I want to do now is I'm going to tap and hold on the folder and drag and drop it to my Dropbox because I want it there for safekeeping. I'm also going to drag and drop the zip file to my Dropbox also. So now I know it's safe and sound in my Dropbox. It will live there forever, just in case I ever need it. But now I want to get one of these templates to my eye planner. And since I'm already here, I'll just open this folder. And I think I'll go ahead and get one of the ones that already has the suggested text. They all come with blank boxes for you to fill in your own text or suggested text. And these are the ones that I like to use because of course I created them and this is my method for project planning and so I already have this filled out. So now let me show you how to get this into my eye planner or I should say onto because it's a transparent template that overlays on the pages in the eye planner. So I'm going to go ahead and tap this up arrow and I'm going to tap copy and go to my planner and I'm going to paste it onto one of my dot grid pages. Now in case you're not familiar with the eye planner or in case you didn't know, the eye planner comes with pre-made templates and one of them is this dot page and they are in the beginning of the eye planner. Okay, that came in really good. So now I've got my dots so that I can write straight and clearly over the dots. I think I need to move this down just a little bit. Okay, that looks better. All right, so I've got a space for filling in what the project is. There's a space for status, and the statuses that I use is do, doing, done, waiting, and trash. And the reason that trash is one of them is because sometimes I plan to do something and then look at it later on and think, ah, that really wasn't such a great idea, or I changed my mind to do something else or do the project different. My four status abbreviation, so that would be to do, doing, I'll do DG, waiting, W, done, DN, and then T for trash. And so as I work through this project, I'll check off what stage that I'm in in the process. Any collaborators, I'll put a short description down here and I've left plenty of room for a description. Start date, due date, and then down here would be all the tasks that are involved in getting this project done. And I have some projects that I've already filled out that I'm gonna show you how, what it looks like when the project is finished and how I list these things in the template. But first, I wanna show you how to locate and duplicate the templates that are pre-installed inside the eye planner. So for that, I'm going to tap on the four squares and I'm going to go to outline, make sure outline is highlighted. And then you can scroll through all the templates there in the beginning of the planner and they're all labeled. And what I want is the dot grid. So I'm going to go ahead and tap it. Then I want to go to the four squares again. And this time I want to show the thumbnails. 
and the one that I have selected is highlighted in blue. I'm going to tap select and I'm going to select the one that's highlighted in blue. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to copy and then say done. And I can close this now and then I want to go to where I want to place this template. Now the reason that I copied it is because I want to save my original so that I can use it over and over and over again. I can copy it as many times as I need this template. Alright, so I'm going to tap on the four squares again. I'm going to tap outlines again because I want to go to my first tab and there it is, tab one. And I want this template to come after this first tab. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the plus and then I'm going to tap paste page and it brings me to that page. So that page is all ready for me to start inking on or texting on or pasting some images on and let me show you one more time how to get one of these templates let's try a different one let's try one of the blank mason i'm going to tap on the up arrow copy come back over to my eye planner press and hold and tap paste and then there's a little resizing and it helps me to make it big enough so i can see if i get it in the middle if i stretch it to these outer dots. If I get the width right, then I know the height will be right as well. So I think I've got the width pretty set. So I'm going to come down and place it on that last row of dots. And it's still, it looks like it still needs a little bit of adjustment. And once you have this complete, you can copy and paste it as many times because it's already sized to your page. So all I would have to do is lasso copy and then put it on another page now this is a blank one so you would simply just fill out whatever it is that you wanted in these blanks so let me go ahead and choose white ink and just write in here or you can type text if you want to and description and like i said you can fill it in with any text that you need for the way you do your projects all right, let me show you an example of some that I've done myself. Here's a project that I'm working on right now, and it is a collection that I'm working on for Valentine's. And so here you can see I have filled in project, status, collaborators, there's none, it's just me, start date, due date, description, and a list of things that need to get done. And of course, you can check off the things that you've completed and that is the best feeling in the world. On the right side, I've got some screenshots, my palette, and when the project is done, I'll overlay images over these photos and mark it as complete. And here's another example of a project that I did. And this works for any kind of project, a household project, a trip that you're planning. This one in particular was a faux gingham paint project that I did on two items in my living room. This is a screen divider and this is a hope chest. This is what it looked like before. I drew out what I wanted to paint on all the inside panels. I have all my measurements here, the list that I needed to fulfill at the hardware store, where I was going to be, which was Home Depot. Some of the things I had on hand, but I still wanted it in the list. My description, when I started it, when I finished it, and then my photos of the finished product. And of course, all of the steps and supplies were acquired and complete. So as you can see, you can pretty much plan anything with these templates. Any plan or project that requires more than one step to complete is perfect for this method and to use these templates for. Is perfect for this method using these templates. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're getting things done this year. And I will see you in the next video. Have an awesome day, everyone. Bye.